Hi everyone! This week I have another short video because I'm also working on some other stuff that I hope to share with you very very soon. So, after I made the heat treating oven a couple of weeks ago, I bought some stainless steel and some other stuff that I need to properly heat treat it. And something that I have to buy every time I want to make knives is sandpaper. The home improvement store where I go to buy sandpaper sells it in sheet, like this. But for knife making I prefer it a lot in strips, like this. So every time I need some I have to cut it from a larger piece. So, in this video I'm making a holder for all the different grit of sandpaper that I use and hopefully this will make storage a lot easier because I can cut it all at once and I hope it will also save some time while working on knives. To make this video a bit more worth watching I thought I can walk you through how I designed this holder in Fusion 360 instead of just having it as a time lapse. The first step was to measure the dimension of the sandpaper strip so that I have like a volume to base my design off. Then I insert this measurement in Fusion 360, leaving allowance in all dimensions to make it easy to take out a strip and also to count for the wall thickness of the box. Once I made this very simple box, I use a tool called Shell that transforms this solid box into an empty one with the wall thickness that I entered. The wall thickness is based on the nozzle dimension of my 3D printer, that is 0.4 mm, so I choose 1.6 mm, that is a multiple of the nozzle dimension, to make it easy to print. Now all there's left to do in this box is to cut two openings and I do this just by sketching the opening that I need on a specific face and then extruding it into the box. This big opening is the one to load the sandpaper, so I thought I can block it with another simple box, press fit into this opening. To design this other piece I start again with a sketch on the other box opening and I add an offset from that of 0.1 mm as allowance for the press fit. And then I also added a text on this cap with the grid that there will be inside. At this point I printed just one to check if it worked as I wanted. And it did. So, back to Fusion 360, I duplicate the original box in an organized manner. And then I merge all these different bodies together and I can send it to print. Around 12 hours later, all these pieces are nice and done. So I can move on to cut all my sandpaper into strips and I can load them into the order.
here you can see I made a mistake with my design because when I merged all the compartments I left only one wall between each other and so now the cap don't fit anymore but really it's not that bad because I can just shave some of the cap with the bandsaw and now they fit again And yeah, this simple order was designed to be attached to an horizontal surface with just some good double-sided tape. And that's all! The holder is working great and I hope you've enjoyed this very quick video. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye!